So I was doing research on a video about Mel Tucker and this video popped up from Nate the lawyer about Matt Ariza. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I was not aware of this situation. I've been kind of out of the loop. And so I thought it was interesting, especially with what my channel talks about and how we even seen with Trevor Bauer's accuser and other women. Of course, we always go back to Amber Heard of these women making false accusations and just the accusation is enough to ruin a man's life not actual full evidence not a not a um, um you know a court proceeding nothing like that it's like he is he is guilty until he can prove himself innocent and it's supposed to be the other way around so all right guys um I'll, i will link the original to nate the lawyer below he does great work over there um i originally found him from the johnny depp um, Amber Heard trial. And so, yeah, make sure you guys check out his channel and check out the original video. We begin tonight with breaking news. The Buffalo Bills new punter is named in a lawsuit accusing him and two other men of gay. Good evening, everyone. Jackie is off tonight. The accuser suit says it happened while Matt Ariza was a college football player last year. And that suit was filed hours ago in a county court in California. Ariza joined the NFL in April, a six round draft pick. The Bills admit to learning about the allegations in July. He was dropped by the team after the lawsuit went public. Ariza's accuser wonders why his career even got that far. I can't put into words how upsetting it was when I've been facing the consequences for his actions. No criminal charges have been filed. Several months later. Former San Diego State and Buffalo Bills punter Matt Ariza says his life is on hold after allegations of and a civil lawsuit was filed against him. Ariza has always denied his involvement in that alleged at a 2021 party and now new evidence from prosecutors show he left the party an hour before the assault happened came back up again recently because of this 220 page transcript in which prosecutors explained to the alleged victim that Ariza had left the party at which the alleged gang occurred an hour before it happened so that has created Ooh. a firestorm of its own yeah right this guy got railroaded right this guy shouldn't have been cut wow. yeah. this guy should still be in the NFL 23 year old San Diego State football star Matt Ariza mm. had the world and the NFL at his fingertips nicknamed the punt god Ariza was drafted in the sixth round by the Buffalo Bills in 2022 but that all came crashing down when he was accused in the game of a 17 year old girl at an SDSU house party though these were just allegations the Bills cut him from the team just days later Prosecutors in the case declined to press charges. Matt was never charged. A series of video clips of the alleged game do not show Ariza as he was not even present during the incident. But apparently none of that matters. Not the evidence, not the wow. lack thereof, nothing. Because in this era of cancel culture and believe all women, an mm. accusation is enough to ruin someone, their life and their future. So this NFL star lost everything because a woman lied and he mm. wasn't even there. Wow. All right, people, get ready because today we're talking about this wild story featuring the punt god, Matt Ariza. Now, he was accused of doing horrible things to a woman, but now that all the evidence has come out, he's been totally exonerated, but still wow. can't get a job in the NFL because he was accused. So let's start with the details. Now, okay, so before we get into the details, this is this we ever since me too which we know was a is a complete sham a complete failed movement um that was supposed that started with you know canceling men in hollywood for you know women just making accusations all the way to a person like harvey weinstein who actually you know committed some some problematic things some terrible things and from there we, you know, we had the kind of the backlash, I would say, against the Me Too when the whole Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial went on because it it showed how far some evil women will go in order to get resources from a man or to punish him or to destroy his life 
because that's what she feels like doing because her emotions are in that place. It's like we see women as all good and it, if all women are good and no woman would make up anything, right? That that's the, the, the moniker that no one will, will make up something this heinous. And we put that out there and I'm just trying to figure out like, do you not know history? Do you not watch any type of crime show? Where are you getting these statistics that women don't have personality disorders or dark triad traits and are, are evil and are out to get what they want? We've got to stop. I, I think that is where we come in where, and I see this in so many, so many layers. Everywhere you look, especially in media, that men are always couched as being bad and women are good. But if a woman happens to be bad, that it's a man's fault. So I just wanted to put that out there because there are women who it is their mission to destroy a man and to get and usually for money or payback or some whatever she he's not giving her what she wants. So we as women, we have to take these stories one by one and not just putting, you know, um, quick to hop on a bandwagon that can destroy an innocent man's life. That could be your father, your brother, your son somebody that you care about. So it's important, and, and besides that, we gotta use critical thinking skills, y'all. Like, we've gotta get out of our little corners and, and pointing fingers, but anyway, let's get back to this. I have to heavily censor this because this is YouTube and the YouTube gods don't allow certain things on the platform. But you'll get a good idea of what the allegations are and what's being alleged. Here you go. Buffalo Bills punter Matt Ariza is accused of a 17 year old girl at a Halloween party last October. According to a lawsuit filed Thursday, the alleged incident happened just six months before the Bills drafted him in the sixth round. In the lawsuit, the plaintiff, who is referred to as Jane Doe, says she met Ariza at a party at the residence where he lived. At some point during the party, the lawsuit claims, quote, Ariza then led Doe inside the house and into a bedroom. There were at least three other men already in the bedroom. The lawsuit names those three men as current or former members of the San Diego State football team. The lawsuit goes on to say she stumbled out of the room, bloody and crying, and immediately told her friends she had been... Now I need you to understand, she was alleging that Ariza was in the room during the incident. Here is how ESPN described the allegations. And then when you hear the details, the details. The details are extremely disturbing. And I want to say disturbing. one thing, and I was grateful that you had sent me the CBS News interview because I hadn't seen it. I right. saw ABC World News prior. Yes. Her father spoke out, but the right. victim obviously speaking out. And Stephen A., obviously I'd read the details in our ESPN article, but seeing the visuals, yes. the bruises yes. all over her legs, the bruises on, on her neck, neck being held down for 90 minutes. I won't, yes. I won't go further right. into the details. It's a morning show. They're very disturbing and yes. it's only if, if people, but it, a lot of times when we talk about, Hey, no one's there. He said, she said, I mean, they have the visual visual evidence as right. well. Uh, but they're saying they have the visual evidence, but they don't have evidence that he was there. You see how they're conflating the two that because there's evidence that obviously something happened to this girl. And, and let me just say this, I'm not here, you know, women are assaulted. Like, let's not, let's not mix any words about it. Um, but so we're not, I'm not countering that women aren't assaulted that women who truly are victims, they do need to be believed, but we've got to take a closer look because the narrative starts to spin, there's no reasonable doubt. The narrative starts to spin right away that just because she has bruises, therefore, and she says Ariza was there, therefore, that's evidence to convict him. That doesn't make any sense. Those two, those are two separate things. Yes, some, she has bruises from something. We don't know if it was assault. We don't know if she requested it. We don't know if it was even from that evening. We don't know, right? So those things have to be individually investigated. And where was he at that time, at the exact time that it happened? But see, if you just listen to this, Molly's already saying, oh, well, it's clear evidence. And she's implying or saying it directly that it, it's a evidence against Ariza. Listen, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Yeah. 
Listen, the, the, when the district attorney is saying we're looking into this because we did not know. And now that the, now that we know this, we're looking into this. He's in a world of trouble because Absolutely. Let me tell you, they didn't happen by accident. They didn't happen by accident. OK, something happened to that young lady. Yeah. And it's clear. And the fact that she, she is a gang. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we talk. We're talking imprisonment. Yeah. We're not talking settlement. We're not talking a civil case. A civil case may come with it. But we're talking potential imprisonment. And, 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 and Matterizer, if you're innocent, you're innocent. I don't know. None of us know we weren't yeah. there. But you and whoever you were with and that young lady, yeah. we don't know. But if there's truth to this, you're going to jail. The so, but did you see there, Stephen A was worse because he... He gives all these things. He's in trouble. He's in trouble because of the bruises and because of this girl and, and the gang and things like that. And then this one little thing. But he could be innocent. There's no there. I mean, it's just automatically assumed that it's that it's that it's done. But just, you know, that one percent chance that it's not true. Let me just say he could be innocent. I don't know. We have to judge in the court of law. You know, they have to save face and kind of cover themselves. But. There. I mean, he's just automatically 100%. We even saw what happened with the, the whole Kobe Bryant incident. And so many other men are athletes who have been accused of things that are and regular men. I mean, we think of, you know, some people say, who cares? They're athletes. They're, they're, they're paid and all these other things. But this trickles down to the average man experiencing the same thing. We see, I just did a video on uh, dark feminine um dark feminine tactics that women are trying to use, dark femininity, in order to manipulate men. We see the TikToks, we see the other things of women who are psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists, giving advice to women to hate all men and to use them for money and to do all these other things. But but no, women are virtue and good. And, and if a woman accuses a man, he's automatically, he's automatically guilty. No doubt about it. Except for maybe I'll reserve a little bit of judgment in case that 1% chance he's not. Mm -hmm. Wait. Buffalo Bills then fired Matt Ariza from the team and the media demanded it. His life was put on hold and remember people, he was totally innocent. It was proven that he wasn't even there when the woman said the alleged assault wow. occurred. Now, police and law enforcement started investigating these serious claims and found a video of the incident. Somebody had actually recorded it. Now the video showed not only that Ariza wasn't there, but that the alleged assault didn't even happen. The <gasps> woman was a willing participant. Now after seeing the video, the DA and the police closed the case. They charged no one. Here's what the video showed. Threefold one is uh, nowhere in those videotapes uh, will you see Matt Ariza because he wasn't in the room. Secondly, um, they will depict that the plaintiff was a willing participant in the sexual acts that occurred that that evening. And thirdly, um, it, it shows that she was not um, uh, engaging in, in conduct that would be distressing at the time. The videos were obtained by the San Diego Police Department during their investigation. And these are the same videos the district attorney's office reviewed when they decided not to file any criminal charges against any of the players, including former SDSU and Buffalo Bills punter Matt Ariza. Now, there was another video of the woman. So, guys, she was a willing participant. How many times we see these young women, they regret what they did or they didn't get something out of it that they wanted to. And so she automatically accused them of doing this because maybe her own shame that she had actually done this and how they looked at her. Maybe whatever words were said, they, they didn't, didn't behave in a way afterwards that she liked, so she gets mad. She realizes what she's done is gonna give her a bad reputation, that it was filmed that she's, she's going to be in trouble. That if it gets out and her parents see it or her family see it, her pastor sees it. Mm. Wow. Like, you have no conscience. These young men could have gone to prison for the rest of their lives off of something like this. And this evil, deceptive, manipulative witch decided that that was better 
to destroy all of these young men's lives than for her to own up being for the streets. Remember, guys, we're in a time of modern feminism and, and, and sexual liberation. It's my body, my choice, and oh, who cares about body count? I can have a hundred plus bodies and no one should judge me, and a man should do what I say. And women are above men, but women should be making more than men because it's not fair, but I now make more than men, and now I have to date down. And oh, I, I had fun in my 20s, hot girl summers. I'm now 30, and how come a man doesn't want me? at the center of this incident. See, Matt Ariza says that he had consensual sex with this woman that night, but this was hours before the alleged assault. See, after the video came out showing that Ariza... Y'all, so she slept with him earlier and then did the chain gang. Somebody need to come get their daughter. Like right now. Uh, wasn't even in the room and had left about an hour earlier. The woman then changed her tune. They are now claiming that, hey, she never claimed that Ariza was involved in a gang assault, even <gasps> though you've heard all the news media saying that he was. They are now claiming that they're suing Matt Ariza under a theory of statutory blank. And the bottom line is my client has said from day one, she went to the police right away and said it was Matt Ariza that led me from the side yard into the room. And then she doesn't ever, she never alleged that he, he, she never alleged that, never said that in the complaint, never said that in the police report that he was part of the game. We were very careful of that. What she said was he led her to the room and then when she got into the room, she was shoved from behind onto the bed. That's been her am I missing from the very beginning. Am I missing where there was any clarification done from your side when he was being accused of all over the place to say, hey, we're not the ones accusing him? Cool. Okay, there's a thing called statutory, right? And there's a thing called by intoxication. And then there's a thing called forcible. So, uh, Mr. Ariza has already admitted to having sex with this young woman, 17 years old, on the side yard. He admitted, he actually went on TV yesterday and admitted it. He was admitting it slowly through his attorneys, you know, dating back a few months. But when you're 21 years old and the girl is 17 years old, that's a felony. It's called felony statutory. And it okay. I don't know what the age of consent is and wherever they are, but obviously legally, that's not it. My question is, why was a 17 year old girl at this party? Was she drinking? Did she present herself as, as of age? She's having relations with multiple men willingly at this party. How would he know? We've got to start really using common sense here. Like, how would he know that she is 17? Did she tell him that? She's at an adult party. Why is, some, why is your daughter in the streets, sir, ma'am, feminists? Right. But I know, guess what? She's still the victim because um, these boys coerced her and she's only 17. So she was, you know, these guys were older and they and they really pressured her. And um, yeah, even though she made these choices free will with her own free will and she had friends there that could have stopped her or she stayed with her friends, she chose to go off to the side yard and have relations with one guy and then later have relations with several more guys at the same time and let it be filmed. Where is the responsibility of the parents of women who say, who always wanna blame men? Are you gonna call out this girl's behavior? No, this is just gonna go away quietly and never to be mentioned again. But they're sure loud as I don't know what 
when it, they are ready to cancel a man, an accused man, just because Bambi said so. Y'all, this, this story gets more trifling. I, I can't. In um, statutory consent is not an issue. Now, there's a problem with even this. See, in California, the prosecution needs to prove that Matariza knew or should have known that the victim, the alleged victim, was 17 and not 18. So this is the way it works in California. Let's say you go to a nightclub, and in that nightclub, California. they only allow adults in, people who are over the age of 21. Well, in that case, if you meet someone and have sex with someone that you met inside that nightclub, the law presumes that a reasonable person would think that everybody in there was over the age of 18, right? So even if you were to have sex with someone and then find out later that they, they're only 17, then you didn't have the requisite mental state. You, there was no way you could have known or should have known that that person was under the age of 18. Now, we can flip that and say, if this was a high school party, well then at a high school party, you're more likely to meet people who are under the age of 18 and you couldn't use that excuse that, hey, I didn't know because the law would say, well, you should have known this could happen. And you could be held criminally responsible for statutory blank. Now, in this case, they were at a college party and the woman claims that she told everyone at the party she was 17 and everyone knew it. But the video of the incident and all the witnesses at the party say that no, the woman was telling everyone that she was 18 and more evidence came out that the woman was going around telling people she was actually 18 years old. Here's a video from a party the day before and listen specifically to what this woman is telling people her age is. Okay, because I've seen this YouTube video of her that was recorded the night before mm -hmm. uh, at a completely different party mm -hmm. where she's telling people she's 18, she's going into very graphic details about her past sexual encounters. Have you seen that video? I have, yes sir. Is that the way she was acting the night you met her? No, no, more contained for sure. That, that video is pretty wild. My body counts over 20, I'm only 18. I don't wanna hear that, I don't wanna hear that. My body, first body is like 15. Like how old were you? 14, I'm only 18. Over 20? I mean, I ate somebody's ass before, but that's only because they wanted it. Now, along with all the witnesses, Believe all women, believe all females, because this isn't a woman. I don't know what this is. This is a lost person, needs therapy, needs help, needs counseling, needs accountability, needs to be uh, criminally prosecuted, and needs to be taught a lesson. Welcome to the real world, Bambi. She is actually for the multiverse this is miss marvel miss marvel is a fail or captain marvel is a fail this is captain marvel right here is a fail just like that's a fail because of the woke modern feminist ideals that they try to push and try to give as a lesson you can't just be entertained anymore you have to believe in these ideals and the same thing is it's it's it panders to women like this this is what they this is what corporations, what media is supporting. Women behaving and acting like this. This is freedom, guys. This is sexual liberation. This is women being above men, finally. The patriarchy is not going to stop her from living her best life and degrading herself and having sex with strange men. No, guys, guys, listen, listen, listen. We're misogynists. Right? Because I, I'm a misogynist, a pick me, because I'm using critical thinking skills and I can see how this type of behavior and mindset and uh, what young women have been programmed to believe is damaging them, is hurting them, is causing them to be in situations like this where surely she couldn't feel good about it based on her false accusations to save face. No, guys, like we're we're trying to we're misogynists because we're we're shaming women for living in their truth. 
and being for the streets. So, you know, we we need to repent. All right, guys, that went onto a tangent. Sorry. Is even her friends claiming that she told everyone she was 18. The DA's office cleared Ariza of any statutory what a lying charges. Now, the story gets even crazy. This woman is now doing media claiming that she's happy that Ariza was cut. She's happy that he lost his job. Remember, he wasn't even there. And the video refutes her claims. Matter of fact, she now claims that he wasn't there. And she never said he was there. But wow. listen to her talk about how she's happy that he was fired from all his jobs, even though she knows that he's innocent of the claims. Matt getting cut from the team definitely was a boost for me. I was really starting to feel hopeless. Ooh. Arise's accuser speaking out in her first ever TV interview with our sister station in San Diego, saying she feels Ariza should have never made it to an NFL team given the serious accusations against him. Of course, I do wish that something was done sooner. I wish that he was what? never drafted, um, but that is just how it is. Um, I'm trying to be as understanding as possible. So this woman claims she was assaulted. The media took these allegations and demanded that this man be fired. Ariza always claimed that this was a money play. And I believe she was after his money. But when the story first came out, the sports media took the woman's side and said, of course she's not after his money. Matter of fact, listen to their reasons why. And um, the authorities in San Diego, apparently the detectives in the case, according to the LA Times, just recently handed their evidence to authorities in Southern California to decide whether charges need to be filed against Matt Ariza, who denies this through his lawyer, who said that the individual in the case um, he inferred it's a money play, which is interesting because usually money plays are not uh, involving third round drafted punters in the NFL. And certainly wow. money plays don't usually occur when um, somebody goes to the police the day after the incident, as the civil lawsuit lays out and the Los Angeles Times has reported. Oh my God. So based on everything that I am seeing, the Bills who are playing tonight with Ariza on the team, I, I I don't know what their recourse is other than to sit him down for sure for the time being while this is playing out. And cutting him sounds like a pretty damn good idea too, but I don't have all the facts in the case right now, but I wanted to just say what I'm thinking and feeling reading this. Outrage isn't... Um, just as a father and a human on the planet. And then um, gobsmacked and absolutely gutted and then also uh, embarrassed that we had him part of our NIL deal. And just to be clear. Guys, if, okay, women, if you can't see a clear bias against men, even in their own spaces, especially, I mean, ESPN, we already know about that. And how they are so biased against men, they're automatically can canceling him, no questions asked, just because she said it, and she's been shown to be an absolute liar. Not only that, her purpose was to destroy him. It gave her a boost. Look at how the media will just spin anything, any narrative. What are you digesting as women? Are you listening to real men? Are you getting, are you, are you in an echo chamber of the media lying to you, feeding you propaganda? Are you on TikTok and social media only in spaces where women are? Listen to men. This is what America, this is what the West has done and why men are just walking away they don't even want to deal with women from here anymore. This is just one part of it. Wow. He was cut and lost millions of dollars. Now, to be fair, some of the media have reported on the exoneration, but they blame Matt Ariza for not telling them that he wasn't even near at the beginning of the case. 
check it out. Something that is going to be there yeah. with potential right. developments. And I go all the way back to last August because, look, there's a lot of folks that are mad that, oh, the media is responsible for this. The allegations in the civil lawsuit are what they are. If there was clear evidence that he wasn't even at the party and had been gone for an hour before yeah. the game allegedly happened, right. that's the kind of stuff that should have been shouted from the rooftops by someone last August. Right. If that's the thing that caused the prosecutors not to pursue charges, if we'd have known that back then, it would have been a lot easier to bang that drum. All we knew wow. it was one big stew of allegations and counter allegations, and nobody knows what really happened, and it's going to be difficult to get to the truth. So who shouts that, who should shout it out, Mike? To see it. Who like is that on the prosecutors? Well, no, I mean from, who, from his side. Yeah, or yeah. No, no, okay. no, no, no. All right. No, if 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 his camp can prove, and eventually did prove to the satisfaction of the prosecutors, yeah, he right. was gone an hour before this happened. Right. It should have been coming from his camp. It yeah. should have been coming from his lawyers yeah. back in August of last year. Because then that's something that we could have kind of sunk our teeth into and said, hey, look, folks, wait, Bills, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Sounds like this guy's got an alibi. Sounds like this guy was gone. So it's it's a complicated situation. And, look, prosecutorial discretion is a very fluid thing. A lot of times they'll only take on cases that they think they can win at trial, and we know it's a high standard. And I don't know that anything is going to be proven by beyond a reasonable doubt, given the evidence and the allegations and just the circumstances of that evening. So now what happens? Well, the case is still going on, but we've seen this time and time and time again. Here's a link to the Trevor Bauer video where he was accused of the same type of assault, but because there was video and text messages that prove the woman in that case just made the whole thing up to try to get at Trevor Bauer's money, he was exonerated. Let's not forget about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, another mm. case where the woman clearly lied. All the evidence showed that she lied, but mm. Johnny Depp lost everything. But what are we going to do as a civilization? Allegations alone seem to be enough to destroy someone's life. Trevor Bow was kicked out of Major League Baseball and still couldn't get his job back. Johnny wow. Depp lost everything. All his movie roles, remember, were gone. And now Matt Ariza is blackballed from the NFL all because this woman mm. lied. Now, don't get me wrong. There are real victims of these type of things out there. But until women like this are held accountable criminally, mm -hmm. I think they'll continue to try this and destroy mm -hmm. men's lives. There is literally no consequences for this at all. Even when they're caught red-handed, as these women were. These women were caught red-handed lying. Wow. And the men have lost everything. Now, tell me where I'm wrong in the comments section. Tell me why you think that I'm spouting nonsense. But until our society catches up and says this is wrong, mm -hmm. destroying someone's life and lying Ooh, about it is wrong, then I think these women will continue to do it and I'll continue to cover these stories. With that, don't forget like, share, subscribe. Guys, he was preaching. He said it all at the end. Guys, yeah, like he said, like, uh, leave um, a like. Also, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this story. Um, and again, the link to the original video is down below to Nate DeLoyer's channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.